Hello, good people of the world. I hope everybody is doing amazing. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. My name is Kristana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back, friends and family. Today, I'm going to do something that I know someone's gonna say, why did you waste your time on this thing? It's a piece of junk or you're wasting products on this. So, this is not much, right? This is, this is my clients and I have done a lot of things for them and they are about to move. We are military and they're about to move from Germany to Japan. And this is the very last piece that I'm going to do for them. Unless for some reason our cross, our paths cross again. Okay. So when I went to pick this up, this is for my client. She carries all her craft stuff in here. It's not much, right? doesn't seem like much. When I went to her house, she was like, can you even paint this? It's not solid wood. You know, what can you do with it? And I said, well, I can do anything with anything if I just have the capability, if you just let me. And so I want this to be something that is mind blowing for her. Even though right now it looks like nothing, I don't think she's expecting anything great right? Not that it's nothing against me. It's not that she's not expecting something great for me. It's that the piece itself is not that amazing, but it is a solid piece. And it's something that she has been carrying around with her and it's got her craft stuff in it. And again, it's the last piece that I'm going to do for her and I want it to count, right? So I'm going to help you guys. I kind of want you guys to envision something. So this is not much right down here. Not much really just, it's not solid wood. But what we're going to do, we're going to cut the bottom of this off. We're going to put some gold feet on it for her. We are going to take this hardware off. We're going to plug the holes. We're going to do a sleek design. Okay. We're going to use pure eco's chalk line for this. And we're going to do some pink, a, a red, kind of a peach color. We're going to do a orange color. We're going to make it bright. And then we are going to finish it all off with a redesign with Prima decor transfer. The reason why I picked this one is because it's got some watercolor flowers on it. And I think that it'll be a nice, just, it'll go really well with these colors and the gold. And I think that this piece is going to be something she's not going to expect it here. If you guys want to see this transformation, see, I'm getting all emotional because I'm really excited about this. I'm so excited guys. Come on. Stay here. The first thing I did was remove the front panel on the bottom. So what I did is I removed the rubber pieces that are on the corners for protection with a needle nose pliers and a flathead screwdriver. And then what I did is I took a mini pry bar and I loosened up that front piece because I knew from the bottom that that was just nailed in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to end up actually cutting the other halves off. So we're going to cut the bottom of this piece off. I turn this piece on the side and I'm using a speed square and a Sharpie to mark exactly where my cut line needs to be. So I'm just lining it up with the edge of the back of the piece and where the front is too, that we just took off. So we want it to, we want to cut off as much as we just took off on the front as well. So we're gonna put a Sharpie and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tape it. What this helps me do, first of all, it helps so that my line is even more recognizable when I am cutting it with my saw, but it also helps with any kind of fraying of the wood and this is MDF, so it's gonna allow that piece to not fray when we cut it. I am taking my circular saw and I am gonna cut each side off of this.
Once I've cut the bottom off, I'm going to remove all of the hardware. These are just cheap plastic things that I'm not even going to bother keeping, but I do keep the screws. And then I'm going to plug all of those holes with a two-part wood filler. I like to use two-part wood fillers because they don't shrink and they harden super fast. And so that way I don't have to wait for a wood filler to dry. What you do is you take the actual filler that's in the can and then you put the hardener on there, you mix it into each other. And then what I do is I push it into the holes and then I smooth over it. I let it sit for about an hour and I go in with a 120 grit and I sand most of it off and then I smooth it over with a 220 grit. This is something you can find. Minwax has a two-part wood filler. Bondo. This is, I'm in Germany, so this is a German brand, but this is what I really, really like to use for filling hardware holes because again, it doesn't shrink. While we're waiting for that to harden, I'm gonna flip this upside down and I am going to put these cute little golden feet on here. Again, she didn't expect it and I realize that this piece is probably not the most high-end piece, but again, this is the last piece I'm gonna do for her and I just wanted to make it special. And she's gonna put her craft stuff in it and it's a small piece that we can really make a big impact on. So I'm lining these up at the 90 degree angles on the back and then the two fronts and I'm just screwing those in place. Okay, our feet are on, we have sanded, and now I'm going to clean this piece very thoroughly. If you can see under the lip of the top right there, that is probably from years of just touching it. We wanna make sure that we get all the dirt and grime off of this piece first. And then what I'm going to do, because this is not solid wood, this is an MDF piece. And yes, you can paint these and you don't always have to have a gripping primer for these. So the, the proper prep will help you to be able to paint these. So what we're doing here, we're cleaning it and then I'm going with a 120 grit and I am going to sand over the entire thing. And I'm going to generously sand on this. Because it's not solid wood, I really want to create bite on here. And then once I'm done, I'm going to wipe it off with a micro microfiber cloth. And then I am going to use Pure Eco's base in blocking primer. This acts as a primer before our paint. So that way our paint will adhere really well. But prepping the piece this way allows our primer to adhere really well to the piece before we even put our paint on. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Pure Eco's gray base and blocker. The reason why I'm using the gray is because we are gonna be using reds and oranges and those tones, and having a gray base for those colors actually helps those colors come out a little bit more vibrant. So, and it helps with the coverage. So we're gonna use the gray. I'm gonna put two coats of that on there and I am going to allow it to sit overnight before we go in with our colors, which are cranberry, and then we are gonna use brick, and then we're gonna use sunset, and we are going to do a blend. We're going to start with cranberry on the bottom, and I'm going to lay down just one base coat of that first, and we're gonna allow it to fully dry. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we're gonna go in with brick and we're gonna overlap a little bit of that cranberry and we're gonna figure out how far up we wanna go and then we're going to lay that base coat down. So I'm doing this on the front and the sides. The last color that we are going to put down is sunset. We're going to overlap that brick a little bit and we're going to put a layer of that on and you can see that I'm going around the edges of the drawers. I know some people ask me, do you paint the edges of the drawers? Yes, I do. Sometimes I take them out. Sometimes I wait till after I'm done painting them. There's really no rhyme or reason, but yes, I do paint the edges of the drawers as well. Okay, here's one of our favorite parts. We are going to blend this. So I have a mister bottle, I have a paintbrush for each color, and then I have a clean dry neutral brush. The clean dry neutral brush is exactly what it sounds like. It's clean, it's dry, and it has not been used with any other paint yet. That's gonna help smooth stuff. For this one in particular, I'm going to be using the Caddy Brush by Paint Pixie. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mist the area, and then I'm gonna lay down another coat of the cranberry because we need two coats of it and then we're going to go over that transition line and pull a little bit of that cranberry up into the brick then we're going to move up to the brick and we're going to do another coat of the brick and while we're doing that we're going to keep this piece misted and we're going to take that brick and we're going to go down into the cranberry a little bit we're going to start blending those transition lines together this paint is super easy to blend so it's going to be very easy to do this. This paint does require a sealer afterwards, but it is a wonderful paint to blend. So we're taking that transition line and I'm using the cranberry and I'm lightly going over it. I'm going to mist it. I'm taking the brick brush and I'm going back down into the cranberry and you can see that it has blended really nicely. So the last step is to mist that whole area take that caddy brush which is the clean dry neutral brush go horizontal i'm going to go vertical i'm going to go diagonal and we're going to smooth out the, that transition one last time the next thing is to blend the sunset and brick transition line so we're going to mist it we're going to add a layer of the sunset, just like we did for the other two colors. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that sunset and we're gonna go down into the brick so that we can start blending that transition line together. So when, once we're done with the sunset, we're going to switch over to the brick and we're going to, first of all, we're gonna mist that area so that we can keep that moisture on there so that it blends better. And then what we're going to do is we're taking that sunset going down over the brick just a little bit more. Then we're going to take the brick and we're going to work right below that transition line up into that sunset so that we can start blending those two colors together. And remember, we're gonna keep this misted so that way we can keep this blended. You don't want your paint to catch. And we're going to clean our clean dry neutral brush and we're going to blend this together. We're gonna to smooth this together once we are done here. I really wanted to add a pop of character on here. So we're gonna use Cozy Evening Decor Transfer by Redesign with Prima. I cut this piece off and I'm gonna put this on the bottom. So I'm pulling this away from the protective backing. I am going to put it on the piece where I want it. I'm gonna burnish it really well with my hand. And then I'm going to take a razor blade and I'm going to cut before we burnish it with our burnishing stick, I'm going to trim the area in between the two drawers and on the sides of the drawers, so that way the transfer, once we cut it, once we, once we transfer it over, it's already going to be cut, and then it will make it easier for us to 
open and close those drawers. So we are adding this on here. Again, we're going to we're going to burnish this with the burnishing stick and this does need to be sealed. So this paint and the transfer need to be sealed. And so we're going to do all of that after we have put the transfer on and then we are going to seal it with the matte sealer by Pure Eco. Okay, everybody, this piece is done. This video is done. I hope you enjoyed that. Here is the piece. I'm going to put some final staged photos after this. I hope you guys all have an amazing weekend. And until next time, happy creating, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car, leave a little note and we'll drive real far, let's get out, we can leave this city, let's drive to the open. Countryside is so pretty